So, good morning. My name is Angel. Uh, welcome to the first lesson for SBA and report card tutorials. So, I'm going to start from the down. We'll start with launching MS Excel. I'll just go straight to the point. Today, we'll be looking at how to create um, the subject sheet. And we are going to look at how to uh, adjust the cells, especially the, the rows and the columns, and then how to create a heading and how to color the cells. So basically, that is how we are going to do and then how to also enter test into our headings. So let's just get on with it. I'll launch my Excel. I gave a very brief uh, introduction in the overview I did. That is why I'm going straight on with the development of the SBA. Excel is a very powerful tool. We'll try as much as possible to explore uh, more of it and see how much we can do with the Excel. Okay, so. There are some basic things I want us to uh, look at. Since we all assume that we, we have some basic knowledge in the use of the Excel. Okay, so we will explore the home tab and then the tools that are there. In the process of our tutorials, uh, We'll be using some of the tools and by the time we end, we'll get ourselves abreast with some of the basic tools that can be used in Excel. So basically, let's start with it. Um, I'll have the first one here. I'll just leave one row. So this is our row and this column. So I'll use the first column, the first row, sorry for the name of the subject. So in this case, we'll use English. English language. English language. So what I wish to do is that because I want my work to be printable first, at the bottom here, we have the views. We have the zoom out, we have the page break view, and then we have the normal view. So I want to see the page layout. So that um, I'll be, so I'll, I'll just choose um, a narrow page layout. A narrow page layout. So that I'll have enough space for my work and I would like to change the orientation from portrait to landscape. Okay, so you realize that if I should issue a print preview, you have my sheet showing a, a landscape view. Okay, so it's very important because you need enough space as far as the rules are concerned to work with. So my first column here will be my serial number. So my serial number. And then my second row, my second column will be name. So the name, the name of the children or the student, or if it is any account you are preparing the name. Just trying to label it nicely and then we have in this case sba cut one cut one which is cut one which is um 
thirty percent. Depending on depending on the details you have with your client, you choose the details in the heading. So we have group work. We have group work. Um, group group work and in the next cell we have a uh, cat two I'll just label it cat two and then so cat two our cat two is 30% our cut 2 is 30% and then our group work our group work is 40% okay and then the next one will be our exams Exams, I'll show you why I chose this arrangement. Our exam is supposed to be 100%. Anything bigger than that should be suspicious. Then my next heading will be total SBA 100%. So total, total SB, total SBA, that will be hundred percent, hundred percent. Let me just close this. And then the next cell, we have 50% of SBA, so we see SBA 50%. So this is 50% of our. SBA then we have 50% of exams so exams exams 50% is that all no so we have total 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 is supposed to be hundred our total will be hundred then we have grid we have grid then we have remark remarks and then the last but not the least we have subject position subject we have our subject position Okay, so that is that. So we have, I'm going to adjust the cells to suit um, 
the headings. So let's look at it closely. You just hold, you go to the, the column label, A, B, C, D. So when the mouse pointer here changes to a plus with opposite end arrows to the left and right, it tells you you'll be able to adjust the cell. Okay, so I'll adjust it. the cells very nicely don't worry about the test we are going to look at that I'm going to look at all that so I have I'm going to just give it some small editing so the background want it to be maybe blue or let's say okay this carry color is okay then my test should be bold and then I want to text wrap that means any test that is beyond the the size of the cell should wrap good so my 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 text to wrap and another thing i wish to do <coughs> sorry <coughs> i'll center so this is that this are the alignment here you can just use it as we use in microsoft word it's pretty simple in excel as well so I just have to adjust the cells to suit my work. Good. I think this is okay. This is also okay. I will just have to close this a little bit. I don't think adjusting of the cells will be problem. Okay, so okay, so <clears throat> that is that for our heading. So for the English. Let's see, we are going to merge and center. Good. Then we increase the font. To make it look nicer. That's all. Whoa. So I think this is okay. So let's use the normal view. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is to, we are designing for 30 students. So let's take note of that, 30 students. You can design for more, but for the purpose of these tutorials, we are going to design for 30 students. Okay, so I'll just highlight, because one is out, I'll just highlight up to 31, so that we'll have exactly 30 students. Good. So I'll choose under the font group, under a uh, home tab font group, I'll choose these borders. So I'll say all borders. 
all borders make sure you highlight to the point yes so I'll choose all borders right there is a dotted there are dotted lines and this tells me how my print is going to look like so this gives me the end of the paper so it's very good you look at the views your your views before you start your work it's very important because the sba that you are designing it's printable so we have to look at the the layout closely before you choose and you start to work it's very important it's very important okay so i think we are done with the heading so the first thing i want us to look at is how to automate the serial number i'm not going to burden you in the first lesson with a lot of things so i just want to style this closely i want a double line there yeah so just make it nicer and then uh, we we'll change the sheet name to English. We'll change the uh, sheet name to English. It's very important because we'll be having a lot of sheets. So this is for English language. So in our next lesson, we will look at how to. Um, program the cells for the subjects calculation and everything so in our next lesson we'll look at how to enter the formulas for serial number for the total of the sba examinations and then the 50 percent the total for the grade and then the total marks remarks and subject position. So we are going to look at all that in our next lesson. Thank you very much.